What's up, YouTube? Rose City Sports Cards. We're back with a special weekend segment. This is a video response to Hobby Hound. He is celebrating his 500 subscriber milestone. And he's asked us to do a quick VR showing our five favorite PC items. Doesn't have to be sports cards, just items that we like to collect. And also give shout outs to three channels out there who have less than 500 subscribers. Sort of a pay it forward style request. So I've come up with a few that I really enjoy watching their content. And a couple of these channels have been around for quite a while, but with life's circumstances pulling us away from the things we like to do, sometimes you have to put, you know, the the fun hobby projects on hold for a bit. And so these guys are coming back into the fold, getting back in the saddle and creating great content for us again. I'll start with Red Rum, who has recently come back to the community and is creating content, does a lot of really great rips. I really enjoy watching the uh, videos he makes because um, his tastes are very similar to mine. And so a lot of the players that I enjoyed collecting throughout the years, I see him collecting as well. And so I think you'll get a kick out of watching his rips and uh, some of his PC reveals. Just a really great guy too. So um, check out Red Rum. The next one is sort of a newer channel. He just celebrated his 100 subscriber milestone recently. That would be JB's Ghost Hunting and Other Hobbies. He does a lot of hockey, baseball, and football uh, rips, as well as other collectible um, items like comics, Star Wars figures, and uh, remote control racing vehicles. It's really interesting hobby content on his channel as well. So check out JB's Ghost Hunting and other hobbies. And last but not least, a channel we've known here in the community for quite some time, Cash and Dad's Pack Busters. They are not quite to 500. I think they were at around 450 some last time I checked. And so let's help them get over 500 with, um, with, with Dad's work schedule pulling him away from uh, town for a while. He was, you know, forced to put the channel on a bit of a hiatus. But he is now back and making content. I would recently um, won a contest on his channel for a Juan Soto uh, jersey card. It's the Major League Material game-worn or player-worn um, jersey cards. I was really stoked to get this because I don't have any jersey cards or any kind of a special cards of Juan Soto. This is my first one for the collection. It's going straight to the PC. Thanks so much, you guys. And if you have not checked out Cash and Dad's Pack Busters, you really should. Because they're a fun channel to follow. And uh, they're making our lives better one pack at a time. So check out their rips over at Cash and Dad's Pack Busters. All three of these channels are really fun to watch. Red Rum, JB's Ghost Hunting, and Cash and Dad's Pack Busters. Best of luck to all of you guys in getting up in your subscriber milestones. And we really enjoy watching your content. Very much so. For my PC items that I wanted to showcase for the VR, let's start with some signed items. This is a picture of me at a uh, signing that Bill Walton did at our LCS here in Portland back in 2002. And it was a contest that the card shop had won. Out of all the con uh, card shops in Oregon, we got to have him come to ours and sit down with us for two hours and sign as many items as we wanted to have him sign. And uh, I brought a game, uh, you know, one of the NBA balls that you can buy in the store. Here's the ball itself. I kept it in the box all these years. Wasn't able to keep it in mint condition because the box has a lot of little uh, creases and folds in it. But I thought it was a great idea to have them sign right on the ball in its box, keeping it in the box all these years. He signed Bill Walton Hall of Fame 93. That's kind of his trademark to write down the Hall of Fame induction year. And you can tell by this picture that that is sheer and utter joy <laughs> on my face in this picture. One of the happiest moments I've had in collecting. It will remain one of my uh, greatest uh, memories in my collecting experience. This one was one I had signed at a charity event. It was a golf tournament, kind of a pro-am style thing where they had athletes from different sports and entertainers all playing in the tournament. 
we parked ourselves between the 16th and 17th hole so that we could catch the guys. The contestants in the tournament would have to walk from the, uh, from the green to the next tee. And it was the perfect spot to get them to you know, sign something as they were walking by. We got Clyde Drexler to sign right here in the sweet spot. My favorite player on the Blazers in those uh, 90s, late 80s, early 90s, throughout the 90s. He was just the toast of the town, I guess you'd say. He had Charles Barkley in his group, and we got his signature as well. On the back, we have Jerome Kersey, who's another Blazer that actually played in our um, championship teams in the late 80, 89 and 91. When we played against Detroit Pistons and the Chicago Bulls in the NBA Finals. Jerome Kersey was on those teams. So that's going to be one that I enjoy holding on to in our collection. I've had it displayed on the mantle and different places that I've lived. Now it just kind of resides in a box in the closet, but eventually we'll have the man cave set up where I'll have all my different items like that out on display. I do like to collect figures and uh, sports, specifically bobbleheads. This was a set of Pacific football. It was Heads Up Football 2002, where each hobby box came with one of these um, limited edition bobbleheads. They made 1,000 per player. I've got the Tom Brady there on display. I actually bought a whole case of these hobby boxes, so I was able to get a bunch of different players, even have doubles of a few of the players, including Brady. So that's one of the um, really cool items I have collected as far as uh, sports figures and bobbleheads. And the quality of those are really nice. They're not um, like the light plastic bobbleheads we're used to seeing. Those are These ones here were made... Um, with a heavier type of material, they're, they're pretty heavy. And um, the numbers and the uh, logos on his shoulders, they're not painted on. They're separate little pieces that are on there. Kind of like a real jersey would be where they have the, the patches sewn on to the jersey. They've gone for that kind of effect with these and did a really good job with the detail and uh, quality of those bobbleheads. So now we'll move on to the cards that we have um, sort of... The way I thought we would do this, rather than try and determine what my favorite PC card is, because I have so many that I like, we just thought we would go with our favorite pulls for the channel. And for me, the favorite... Oops, we got domino effect going on here. My favorite pull would have to be this Nolan Ryan Real One Autograph. We pulled this in a family pack battle back in June. And um, blue ink on card... I've always been a fan of the retro cards. And I love the design of these heritage um, cards. So to get an autograph on this particular card really made it even better for me. And uh, I remember some of the great milestones that Nolan Ryan celebrated throughout his career, including when he got his, I think it was the seventh no-hitter, kind of later in his career. He was getting up there in age, and it was kind of a surprise that he was still able to, you know, to do that. And uh, that would definitely be one that I would rank up there as one of my best pulls ever. But definitely the best pull on the channel. For Betsy, her best pull was also in a pack battle that we do on Wednesday nights. And hers is uh, this Terry Bradshaw player-worn jersey card. It's the extra points parallel, so it gives it that shiny, uh, shimmy shine to it. And she's just real partial to Pittsburgh and Terry Bradshaw specifically because... Back in the 70s, as a teenager, she had a Terry Bradshaw jersey, and they were the dynasty Super Bowl team of the 70s. They went there four times, won it every time, much like the Niners were known in the 80s as sort of a Super Bowl dynasty team. Well, the Pittsburgh Steelers were that in the 70s. And so, for those of us that were old enough to remember those days, uh, if you were going for a team that had to play them in the Super Bowl, sorry about your luck, because they uh, won it every time they went. And last but not least, my favorite card that I've pulled in, um, it's kind of just an oddball card. It's a game used from the Super Bowl, piece of the pylon. Congratulations, you've just received an authentic game used Super Bowl 12, uh, or I'm sorry, XL2, what is that, 42? End zone pylon relic card, Tom Brady, from the 2008 Tops football. Number 42 out of 50. And... Just the fact that this was used in the Super Bowl makes it one of my favorite PC cards in our collection. And that's going to wrap up our list 
of items that we have enjoyed the most. And I really appreciate um, all of you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the items we displayed. And check out these channels. Red Rum, JV's Ghost Hunting, and other hobbies, and Cash and Dad's Packbusters. Congratulations again, Hobby Hound, on your 500 subscriber milestone. I'll pin a link in the comments so that you can enter our Team Spot giveaway for our group break next Sunday. We've got a banger lineup of top shelf chrome product, including a mega box of mosaic, basketball, blaster boxes of Prism, Flux times two, and Donruss. It's going to be a shiny little shindig, and I think we're going to pull some bangers in this one. You can pick up spots for 9 or $10, depending on how many teams you'd like to have in the break. You can go to our website, rosecitysportscards.com, and I'll pin a link in the comments for the entry video for our team spot giveaway, which we'll pick the winner for in the live stream next Sunday at 5 o'clock Pacific time when we do our group break. Thanks again. Best of luck in your card hunts and your pack rips. Rose City Sports Cards, out.